tensions sparked by the crisis in the Mideast led to chaos at a high school in Queens. Students walked out of class at Hillcrest High School in Jamaica last week looking for a teacher who attended a pro-Israel rally. Police were called. This afternoon, Chancellor David Banks went to Hillcrest High where he was once a student. Here's Abba News reporter Stefan Kim. 400 students in Jamaica, Queens, rioting for hours inside Hillcrest High School. Their target, a teacher who they discovered had attended a pro-Israeli rally, forcing her to hide in a locked office, afraid for her safety. This video, now part of an NYPD investigation. But students say it wasn't supposed to go this way. I think it went too far. So it started as a peaceful protest, and now everybody views us as terrorists and anti-Semites when we love Jews. I do not like the way that we are undermining each other as humans. Whatever we did wrong, we didn't mean to. Okay. So we apologize to the teacher. The ruckus protest happened last Monday morning with kids flooding the hallways, waving Palestinian flags and chanting free Palestine. Students say a water fountain was ripped out and a boy's bathroom was vandalized. Dozens of cops rushed to the school to restore order. I came here today to listen with uh, dozens of students, just hearing from them. Um, and that's very, very important when you're dealing with students as adults that you don't just come in with all of your judgments and the kids feel like you, you don't even know them and you haven't even heard from them. School's Chancellor David Banks, a Hillcrest graduate himself, says it was an emotional conversation, but his message is clear. Violence, hate, and bigotry are unacceptable. Mayor Adams denounced the incident over the weekend, tweeting, the vile show of anti-Semitism at Hillcrest High School was motivated by ignorance-fueled hatred, plain and simple, and it will not be tolerated. We are better than this. To me, this is all about actions having consequences. Council member James Gennaro says suspensions and even expulsions are warranted. Vandalism and especially violence uh, directed at someone in the school community is a police matter. As for the consequences these students are facing, the school's chancellor says individual students' privacy is protected by law, but he promises swift and fair discipline.